Chaz, what uh, has stood out to you the most about Kentucky's offense and just what you guys are going to see on Saturday? Um, just the difference of the last couple of weeks. I mean, uh, Kentucky plays with five tight ends. They go in 14, 13, 12 personnel. Um, a lot different than we've faced the past couple of weeks. You had family that went to Mississippi State, right? Yes. How special was that kind of going back there? Did you go up and did you go, go back there or did you know any games going up? Um, I went to a couple games growing up, yes. Uh, most of my family was there because most of my family is from around the area. So saw a bunch of them. Yeah, Chaz Kirk was saying the defense gets excited about facing an offense like Kentucky. It's more pro style. They all show clips of, of NFL teams. What's it like preparing for an offense like this, especially after what y'all have seen you know, over the past two or three weeks? Uh, just getting back to our base stuff. Um, uh, going back to 12 personnel, 13 personnel packages. Um, Hard nosed football, which um, is who was line of scrimmage wins this game. Coach Smart kind of talked about the, the preparation you guys put in in practice, trying to punch balls out. I mean, just uh, how big of an emphasis is that, trying to create those turnovers and, and trying to end possessions for the other team? Um, like we all say, it's like it's points when you get the ball out. Um, like, it's it's a, just a momentum swing every time you get a turnover. As someone who's gotten a matchup against this offensive line plenty throughout the year, what has impressed you the most about them and makes them such a good unit? Are you talking about uh, Kentucky's? No, Georgia's. Georgia's. Um, just their experience. Um, a lot of our guys have a lot of experience. Um, everybody's Almost everybody's back this year from last year, and everybody on the line this year has had experience last year. So it's no everybody's experienced, uh, everybody's connected, and there's not many mental busts or anything like that. So you're not going to get a free play on. Chaz, yeah, it's been a few games now that you guys have had to play without Nolan there, the outside linebackers. Just how do you think you guys as an entire group have played having to step up without a guy like Nolan? I feel like we've upheld the standard from when Nolan was here. Um, we've done the job uh, that we're supposed to do, um, pressure the quarterback, and uh, Nolan's still there helping the coaches on the side as well. Chaz, the word connected has been used a lot by Kirby this year. Uh, we've seen the clips, and he's said it to us. What's your interpretation of what that means? What does connection mean to you? Um, connection to me is something that was built before the season. Uh, in the team runs, always having to wake up at 5 a.m., running the cold. Um, connection is just the bond that we have together. and knowing that everybody has each other's back. Chess, what stands out to you about Chris Rodriguez, uh, Kentucky's running back? He's a hard runner. Um, he stays low with his pads, and you got to get underneath his pads in order to tackle him, and he's always falling forwards. Um, we're always caught putting out the fire. Uh, we know that when offense gets a turnover or something goes bad on special teams or anything, um, that we're able to respond. And like we said, we get better the tougher it gets. So when it's in the red area, it gets tougher. Um, and we've obviously gotten better at that. Chance, going back to your uh, senior year, I don't remember whether you were one of the ones who had a high school season or whatever, but what was the kind of the process like, the recruiting process when you were, were you going around FaceTiming the coaches around campus like some guys were? What, what was that experience like? Um, COVID hit the end of my junior year, so I had uh, committed that summer going into my senior year. So going into my senior year, I just said I'm committed to Georgia. I'm going to stay with Georgia. I'm not going to talk to anybody else. I'm going to focus on my season. That was my senior year. How weird did, did it make the whole experience? Because for a lot of guys, they're still hearing from coaches. And there's evaluations and the rankings are fluctuating up and down, whereas it was just kind of staying for everybody that year. 
I wasn't much into recruiting when I was in high school. Um, I was just there to play ball and see what team that would, I would best fit into. Um, so, I mean, it wasn't really much different for me because I never got to experience uh, an official visit or anything like that. So it was kind of just going back to the basics. What were some things that you learned from Coach Calhoun that Carrollton did that you carried over to uh, UGA? Um, from Coach Calhoun, uh, Coach Simmons and Coach Keith, uh, just learned hard on football. Uh, we were structured very much like a college team, uh, practice. Um, we were only one side of the ball, so I practiced just like I did in college, maybe not to the same extreme extent, but uh, learning how to um, go through practice and how to carry myself. Uh, can you talk a little bit about Jalen Walker and your relationship with him? Are there moments where he's asking you advice and stuff like that and you're being a leader to him? Um, yeah, I mean, he's coming in, he's a freshman. Um, not much experience. Um, so, I mean, he's going to be in a situation that he doesn't know, know what to do. So, I mean, I'm going to be there to help him out uh, because he can help our team. Did you enjoy playing in that cold weather the other day? And, uh, you know, with the forecast and the fact that you get ready for the same? I, uh, whatever situation is, uh, it's football, no matter what. Um, and the other night, it was just, just another game. You, you do it past the conditions, you look past how you feel, and you play the game. Um, it's not much about how you feel, um, it's just about how you perform. Anybody else for Chaz? Okay, Chaz, thank you.